Hey guys, welcome back. In the last video, we talked about tuples and how they're related to lists and blah, blah, blah. Now, we're actually going to get into a new value type, which is um, the third value type that I was holding off on explaining because um, I felt like there, there needed to be a little bit more explanation instead of just glossing over them very quickly. Um, and one of the important ones is actually called uh, the dictionary. Uh, in some languages, a dictionary, which all it means is a key and a value. And the key is what you actually reference to get the value. So it's like, you know, you go into a dictionary and you look up a word. Your word is your key. The definition is your value. And that's why Python calls it a dictionary, which is actually a better word than um, what other languages call a hash array or an associative array, like in Perl. Uh, the Perl programming languages uh, calls it an associative array, I believe. Um, Python makes it a little bit easier when they just say dictionary and the way you create one is just use these curly braces. So you use these little curly braces and you're going to see that it's a dict um, which is short for dictionary. Dictionaries have keys and values. Uh, I'm well hell I'll just say key and then you separate the key and the value by a colon. I'm a value. So what if I said, okay, print the value of what is this? It's going to print everything. And it's going to pr pr uh, print it in dictionary form. So you have the little uh, curly braces there. Now if I said I just want the value here, how do I look it up? Well, you look it up by key. So I'm going to pass in inside instead of an index integer saying you know where in this uh, um, you know dictionary this value lives I'm actually giving it a key a unique key that can be looked up to return a value and you'll see it returns I'm a value and if we did once again the type of that it's gonna return a string because I'm a value as a string And if I took that out and I made it an int, I can make it an int just fine. Keys can actually be an int. And I can say, give me the lookup by int. And we'll do the same thing. Uh, I'll change this back. I'm a value. And instead of the type, since you guys know that they can just return the types that they are, based on the lookup, you can see it works the exact same way. So your key can be, you know, an int or it can be a string. Um, but we'll say Chris Hawks. Chris Hawks is a cool guy, but only decent at programming. So that's the key value. So I look up once again, I say, how am I going to find the value that I'm looking for? And I pass Chris Hawks. And you're, you might be like, well, the value's right there. Why do I need to do all that work? Just pass value. Your dictionary could have millions of, of records. It can be an entire Webster dictionary with millions of values. If I want to add multiple values to this dictionary, you can put them on a new line like I just did, but you separate them by the colon. So this will be a new value. You. You guys are great for watching this video. So we'll give it a new value of you. And you see it returns. You guys are great for watching this video. Anyway, your your dictionary can be huge. Once again, it can be as big as you want it to be. You're going to see that in Django a lot. Um, if you ever get into the web development there. Uh, anytime you need to have something where you can predictably, predictably um, you know, look up something. Like, for instance, um, a band, right? So I'll say... Um, Bayside, which is my favorite band, and then they're from Queens, uh, New York. 
that's where they're from but you know what this is actually a bad example see I would actually have my variable name base side which is the name of the band and the base side I could say origin so instead of this I'm gonna say origin and we'll get rid of this bottom one down here and then um, we'll go ahead and give it a genre as well And if I want to go ahead and just, I can print multiple values. In fact, I'll just say plus. I should probably put one of those new line characters that we were talking about before. So I could do that here. And really, I'd probably want to do something like this origin plus. And then genre plus so you can see I add the extra space there so the formatting will be good and when you look at this you'll see you know two separate lines origin Queens New York genre alternative so that's why you know key values are good because I, I want to be able to predictably say okay I'm looking for the origin for this band object well I know how to find the origin because there's a key that says origin that gives me the actual origin that I'm looking for there's a key for genre that gives me the genre that I'm looking for we talked about lists in um, one of the previous videos. I could say list of bands. And then I could put in Bayside. Now one of the things that I was also telling you about is programs are read from top to bottom, left to right. I'm actually referencing Bayside before it's actually found, before it's what's called instantiated, meaning created. It's not there yet. I need to actually define Bayside before I try to call it and add it to a list because Python didn't know what I was referring to. Um, list of bands is not defined. Hold on a second. Oh, I'm sorry. This needs to say equal. I'm silly. Um, and, I, and I probably didn't even give you guys a chance to actually see what the error would be. Python is um, a language that's interpreted top to bottom, left to right. So this is going to break. See, base side is not defined. And that's what, actually what I wanted to show you before. I didn't realize I didn't have um, the equal sign there. But if I declare Bayside before I try to use it, and so I'm instantiating it, meaning I'm creating this thing. I, I, there was nothing before, and now there's a Bayside object, which is a dictionary. Then I create my list, and I say assign that dictionary object to a list of bands. And when I run that, you can see that. And um, most likely, I mean, most likely you'd have like a band object, really. And you probably have like something like name. I think everything's lowercase, so I'll do that. So really you'd have something like that. That way we could print the name and all that stuff because we'll get into um into this more in the future here, but when we have our um our objects, we're gonna be creating objects. Um, using object-oriented programming um, to predictably pass values around so that we know how to use them. And that's something for a later video because honestly it, it confuses um, newcomers to the language and you don't need to, to jump into it right away. But um, you can see the importance of, of key value and that's why um, we're talking about dictionaries here. So I don't want to get too much off on the tangent here. but. Um, that is the, the Python dictionary in Python 3.5. Alright guys, thanks for watching once again and I'll get into some more videos here in the future.